we're creating is the top-down triangle and the top-down triangle show starts up here this is where we start our work and then by making increases at three points here, here, and here our work will go outward like this so you're going to need your yarn and your hook and let's get started so your pattern tells you to start by chaining two so let's make our slip knot and chain two one two and now we're going to make five double crochets into the second chain from hook so we yarn over and here is the second chain That's one, two, three, four, five. You can pull that loop closed, and here we start. So now row one, we're going to chain two. We're going to do three double crochets into the first stitch. So this is our first increase. One, two, three. And now we do one double crochet in the next stitch. And then three double crochets in the next stitch. This is our middle stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. And then in the last stitch, we put three double crochets. We now have a total of 17 stitches. Now we're going to turn our work again. And this last row is the row you're going to repeat until the shawl is as big as you want it. So chain two, three double crochets in the first stitch. Now you're going to do one double crochet in each stitch until you reach your previous rows, three double crochet, until you reach the middle stitch of that little cluster. So this stitch right here. One double crochet in every stitch until we reach that one. I've reached that double crochet, I put one double crochet there. We need a total of three. Now we have three double crochets coming out of the middle stitch of our previous rows. Three double crochets. Now we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch into the last stitch. Three double crochets in this stitch. In row three, in your pattern is the row you will repeat until your shawl is as big as you like. So by putting your increases in the beginning and end in the middle, your shawl just naturally wants go outward. And a little trick to make it easier to remember where to increase every row, you can take a little stitch marker like this and just mark that little stitch. And that way when you work to it, you know to put three double crochets in that and you can just move it up every row. And that's all there is to this top-down triangle shape.